the Galaxy S21, one of the most awaited phones of 2021 and yes finally there is official invite and you can say it as official teaser which have been released by Samsung speaking about a new Galaxy which is gonna come in 2021 and there are a few other reports today about the battery life of Galaxy S21 also some of the reports about the Exynos 2100 I'll be discussing all of that in this video hey guys all about technology 24 into 7 here if you like what you're watching I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel also like this video if you did let's now get started there is a fresh update about the Galaxy S21 series battery life and it's like almost known to everyone that the battery life will be better than S20 but it says that the battery life on the S21 series will be like 35% better than the S20 series that's because of the Exynos 2100 also because of the Snapdragon chip but in this article it doesn't mention that which chipset they are talking about as per what I think, it's definitely gonna be the Exynos 2100 and we have already seen the Exynos 2100 results on the Geekbench like latest results which are going down and down. Now the results are down to like 3500 to 3400 on the multi-core. It can be because of n number of reasons I can say. Maybe the company is trying to improve the battery life further by decreasing the performance a little bit or maybe they are trying to match up with that of Snapdragon or there might be something else like marketing strategy or whatever it is. Yes, as of now, not really sure about that. But a source says that Exynos 2100 results are gonna touch 4000 plus on multi-core when the processor is launched. So yes, we all are hoping for that and we all are waiting for the Exynos 2100, the day which is January 12th, 2021. It's pretty close I can say, like hardly 10 days more and then we will be looking at the Exynos 2100 and official benchmarks of Exynos 2100 too. So yeah, let's wait and see what's gonna be but as per me guys, it's gonna be pretty much similar to the Snapdragon 888 chip because the company is trying to optimize the battery life. That's why the results on Geekbench are going down and down every day. I hope the results don't go further down. It must be somewhere around 3700 to 3800 but as of now it's on 3500 plus. You can just check for yourself on Geekbench 5. Go to Geekbench 5 browser, type in Exynos 2100. You will see the results, the latest results which are out. What do you think about the decreased results of Exynos 2100 and whether you think Exynos 2100 will touch 4000 mark on multi-core? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So this was a quick little video talking about Exynos 2100, the battery life on S21 etc. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.